All right, guys, so we're coming at you from my home, home shop out here close to White County, Georgia. Welcome to the headquarters of Georgia Highland Folk Pots. Out here, we turn the old way. I turn on a uh, stand-up kick wheel and uh, dig my own clay and mix my own glazes. This right here is about six and a half pounds of clay. We're gonna try to make a jug today. Can't guarantee any success. All I can guarantee you is I'm gonna try. Basically what I'm doing here is centering the ball of clay, trying to get it to where it doesn't wobble. where I'm happy with it. About as good as it's gonna get right there, personally. All right. And then I'm setting my bottom right here and widening it, widening it out. And you know, the main reason for carrying on the old tradition, you know, is to just let people know that this is still out here. It's not as, not as commonplace now, but it still exists. And I mean, it's still going to a certain degree. Just important to remember where we came from. In the past, especially in the southeastern United States, this was the way it was done. We're going for a knuckle pull. wobbling a little bit up top. I'm going to collar it and get it back in. Then we push up again. Sometimes I mix it up and I do various different lifts depending on what I think the pot needs. Going back in, pushing on up, go in for another knuckle lift here. like to take my time with it. It's never a race the way I do it.
And you know, sometimes it gets twisted on you on that bottom. That's when you take your rib and you get it back in order. do is I'm gonna push this back in again always keep that top in because if you don't it'll sling out and get away from you and that's a lot harder to bring it back in when it's slung out doing some sort of final knuckle pulls then we'll start shaping here shortly back in get it skinny where it needs to be all right I'm starting with my shaping here all my water's out of my bottom so my bottom doesn't crack. Now I'm going to slowly start bringing it in. Being mindful of that shoulder. Sort of getting that, getting that spout collared in a little bit, giving it a little bit depth of definition of form. I'm gonna try a new technique right here, which is folding that over. I've seen it done before, and we may either succeed with it or we'll fail with it. Either way, it's okay. rib and straighten that out a little bit. Hope we don't lose the jug. Always tricky with these jugs. Never know when you're going to lose one or not. You got it just about right. Something messes up on you. It's the way of pottery. thing I do is run a sponge over it, get it straightened up, get it right. And that's it, as Teaver Metters would say.
It's all finished up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.